This is an entry to functional skills math paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use the calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Activity one, the farm. Dave works on a farm. Dave starts work at quarter past six. Which clock shows quarter past six? Tick your answer. So looking at this, it's past six o'clock. And that is a quarter, so quarter past six. So that's the correct option. The rest of them don't show quarter past six. Dave has 63 white lambs and 45 black lambs on his farm. He thinks he has 118 lambs in total on the farm. Is Dave correct? Give a reason for your answer. So what we're going to do is 63 add 45 and let's see if that gives us 118. So 3 and 5 that is 8, 6 and 4 that is 10. So that is 108 not 118. So is Dave correct? We're going to say no. He has 108 lamps. Dave feeds milk to the lamps. He uses a bottle. How much milk is in the bottle to the nearest labelled division? So labelled means these divisions where you've got the numbers given to you. So this one here is in between 150 and 200. So that is closer to 150 as you can see than 200. So we're going to say 150 millilitres. Day weighs four lamps. Which lamp weighs the most? Take your answer. So we're going to look for the highest number out of 4.3, 5.0, 5.3 and 5.2. So 4.3, that starts with 4, not with 5 like the other 3. So that is the smallest number. So we're going to focus on the other 3. Now we have 5.0, 5.3 and 5.2. So 3 is greater than 0 and 2. So 5.3 as a result is the highest. So that is lamp C that weighs the most. Dave feeds the cows 8 bales of hay every day. How many bales of hay will he feed the cows in one week? So that is seven days in a week. Eight bales each day. So seven times eight gives us 56. If you find that difficult to work out, you could break down the eight into two and two and two and two. So that is four lots of two. And then do seven times two, or two times seven, which is 14. And then repeat that again. Seven times two, that is 14. Fourteen and fourteen is 28. And another 28, so adding them together gives you 56. Just another way to help you work it out. And this is the end of the first part. This is now the second part of the paper. From now on you can use a calculator. Activity 2, harvest. Dave is harvesting the fields. Dave starts in the field that is in the shape of a hexagon. Which field does Dave start with? Take your answer. So hexagon is a shape that has six, 
sides. Which of the shapes does have six sides? So looking at the first one, it has four. Looking at B, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Looking at C, one, two, three, four. Looking at D, one, two, three, four, five, six. So D is the correct option. There is a tree in one of the fields. What is the height of the tree? Tick your answer. So that is five. Five centimetres. That is way too short. Five centimetres you can measure with a ruler. Five centimetres is probably the length of an eraser. Then looking at five kilometres. Five kilometres, in kilometres we measure distance between places. So that is not the height of the tree, definitely. Five metres. That is the correct one. Five metres tall. Like one person can be nearly two metres if they are really tall. So this is like more than double the height of the person. Whereas five millimetres, that is really, really tiny less than a centimeter so that is not correct so definitely option c dave makes hay bales this table shows the number of hay bales he made each day so we've got monday number of hay bales 20 tuesday 50 wednesday 60 thursday 70 friday 40. he starts to show the results in a bar chart complete the bar chart dave makes hay bales this table shows the number of hay bales he made each day. We've got Monday 20, Tuesday 50, Wednesday 60, Thursday 70, Friday 40. He starts to show the results in a bar chart. Complete the bar chart. So we've already got Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday being shown. Now what we need to do is Thursday and Friday. So Thursday 70. And Friday 40. So there is Thursday. We're going to go up to 70. You'd need to use a ruler, but it's going to be much easier when you do it on paper. I'm just trying to demonstrate here on screen. And then Friday we said 40, so we're going up to 40. You can colour them in or just leave them as they are. It's absolutely fine either way. Dave has 37 metres of fencing. He cuts the fencing into as many 8 metre lengths as he can. How many 8 metre lengths does he cut? So we're going to do 37 divided by 8. Using the calculator we get 4.625. So that is more than 4 but less than 5. The question is how many 8 meter lengths does he cut? And we can only say it's 4 because it's not 5. It's less than five and that's how many full lengths there are how many meters of fencing will Dave have left over so if he is getting four lengths and that's eight meters each we do four times eight and that gives us 32 meters but from the total of 37 if we take away 32 from the 37 that gives us five meters and that's how many meters will be left over the fencing comes in rolls like this what is the name of this 3d shape it's a cylinder
Activity 3. The farm shop. Daisy works in the farm shop. The shop is closed for four weeks each year. How many weeks is it open for each year? So there are 52 weeks in one year. If it's closed for four, so we're going to take away four to work out the remainder. And you can do this now using a calculator and it gives 48. So the shop is open for 48 weeks. Daisy weighs 12 kilograms of potatoes. Show where 12 kilogram is on the scale. So we've got 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That is 12. A customer buys some vegetables for £34. He pays with a £50 note. How much change should Daisy give the customer? Since you can use a calculator, we'll be doing 50, take away 34 using the calculator, and that gives us 16. And that is 16 pounds, because it could be 16 pence as well, so we need to specify the unit. Daisy is sorting out deliveries. Write down the names of the people who have a morning delivery that costs more than £30. So we're looking for mornings. That's morning, 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 morning. So out of this four, this is more than 30 It's £35. Looking at the next one, that's less than 30 that's less than 30 and this is more than 30 so we're looking at writing Mr Green and Dr White Daisy writes down the distance she travels each day. On which day does she travel the furthest distance? So we're looking for the biggest number here. And we've got Monday 119, Tuesday 109, Wednesday 191, Thursday 190, Friday 101. So all start with the 1. So they are more than 100 kilometers. What we're we going to do to help us decide, we're going to look at the next digit. So we've got a 1 here, so 110. This is 109, so less than 110. This is 190, so because of the 9 here being higher than one or zero that means that 191 is greater than these other two numbers and then looking at this one 190 so this has a nine as well so we'll look at these two to compare later looking at this one 101 so that's a zero which is much smaller than the nine so that means we really need to focus on these two, 191 and 190. Again, 191 is greater than 190 because it has one more kilometer. So Wednesday with 191 kilometers is the furthest distance. Going back to it, it says on which day, so it would be good to add Wednesday. However, even if you just wrote 191 kilometers, it would be enough to give you the mark. 
Activity four, picking cabbages. Some of the farm workers are picking cabbages. This table shows who's working this week. Who works on the most days? So starting with Ben, Ben works on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. So Ben works on four days. Then we'll look at Tom. So Tom works on Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. So only three days. Looking at Dave, so we've got Dave on Thursday, Tuesday and Monday. So that is three days for Dave. Kai works on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday again three days. Sue works on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So three days again. And then we have Liz on one day and Safi on just one day. So it's Ben that works most days. The workers are going to pick the cabbages. The cabbages are in the field between the grass and the potatoes. Tick where the cabbages are. So between the grass and the potatoes. So grass is here, potatoes is here. So in between there will be this space here. One of the fields is in the shape of a pentagon. How many corners does a pentagon have? That will be five. Think of the fingers in your hand that you used to hold a pen with just as a way to help you remember. The workers count the number of cabbages they have picked. We've got Ben with 46, Kai with 36, Tom with 64. Ben works out how many cabbages were picked in total. 46 plus 36 plus 64 gives us 146. He rounds each number to the nearest 10 to check his answer. Show how he does this check. So rounding these numbers to the nearest 10. We've got 4 to 6. So 4 to 6 sits in between 40 and 50. It's more than 40 but less than 50. 45 is right in the middle. 4 to 6 is about here. So 4 to 6 is closer to 50. That's why to the nearest 10 we're going to round it to 50. Then we have 36. So again, 36 is in between 30 and 40. There is 35. 36 will be about here. So it's closer to 40 than to 30. 64. That is in between 60 and 70. 65 is here. 64 is about here. So that will be closer to 60 than to 70. So adding these together now, we've got 60 and 40, that is 100. Add 50 to that gives us 150. And that is very close to 146.
Safi picked these cabbages. How many cabbages has Safi picked? So we've got to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. This chart shows the number of cabbages each of the workers picked by the end of the week. How many workers picked more than 100 cabbages? So where is 100? That's here. So if I just draw that line, I can see clearly I've got one, two, three workers. That picked more than 100 cabbages. Workers bring bottles of water to work. Tom brings the bottle that can hold the most water. Which bottle does Tom bring? Tick your answer. So we've got 12 litres. We've got 200 millilitres, 2 litres and 120 millilitres. Here is important to remember that millilitres are much smaller than litres. So you need 1000 millilitres to make a litre. So definitely looking at these, the ones in millilitres, they definitely hold less than the ones given in litres in here. So we've got now 12 litres and 2 litres. Which one holds most? Option A with 12 because 12 is greater than 2. And this is the end of the paper.